and uh, Coxie is here. Good morning. Good morning. Jessica is here. Good morning. Well, hello, hello. How are you? We're good. Well, excellent. How are you doing, Jean? Well, I'm trying to think if um, if I pull some weeds and I identify them as flowers, if I can enter them in the... It's New Mexico, absolutely. Okay, very mm-hmm, good, mm-hmm, very mm-hmm, good. Mm-hmm. Just, just wanting to make sure. So you so. didn't plant sunflower, giant sunflower seeds? I have not planted any giant sunflowers, no. but have a lot of folks planted giant Have sunflowers? you, Jess? No, but I know they're selling them at Sun Country. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. But I don't know. Is it too late? I, no. I really don't know. I, we should have asked them, the ladies, before they left. The only thing I remember growing up in Iowa, mm-hmm. knee high by the 4th of July was the phrase. For corn. For sunflowers. For corn. Oh, that doesn't help us. <laughs> but that's nothing to do with sunflowers in New Mexico. Me that's the only growing thing that I remember. Awesome. Was knee high by the 4th of July. That's really cool. You know what I learned recently by on around Mother's Day mm-hmm. is, okay, so my favorite, favorite flower is a hibiscus. Okay. And it's a very tropical flower, very hard to grow here. I mean, summertime is great. It, my, I have two different ones and they bloom like every day couple of blooms okay however in the winter they freeze Mm -hmm. so you have there you have to baby them and bring them you know it gets too cold here however i learned there is a hibiscus plant that's called a hardy hibiscus and i learned this from the sun country people um and you so i got one for my mom for mother's day Mm -hmm. and she plant you plant it in the ground because it stays all year that's awesome i'm excited to see her flowers i just had a terrible joke roll through my brain Uh uh-oh so if you had a guest that came to new mexico you could give them a laurel and hardy hibiscus that went way over my head gene i'm sorry laurel and hardy oh no okay still not that old gene (laughs) he thinks we age when we come every he, we must look rough he must think we're like 50 no 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 not at all it's it's <laughs> i'm the old one here so these are things for my he youth, thinks everyone's his age yes uh, you, so you've never seen the movie blazing saddles then no hardly ever heard of that one okay. i have heard of the movie but i've not seen it okay well be oh, careful okay. with with uh, 20 2020 sensibilities you might folks might be offended by blazing saddles oh today okay they weren't offended then, then when it came out. But they but one of the lines is, you know, we extend this laurel and hearty handshake. And you said hearty hibiscus. Hearty hibiscus. And, and I, so we extend this hearty hibiscus. We could do that at the we chamber. We give you a laurel visitors. and hearty hibiscus. So anyway, yeah. I am so sorry to get, get this it's, distracted. So are you that. getting one of these? Yes, I want one. You're now. getting a hearty hibiscus. I want one. I got one for my mom. Okay. And uh they come in all kinds of cool colors, and they're real ruffly around. I don't know. They're just so pretty. Okay. So Wonderful. Pretty. So I'm excited. There is one. If you ever want to see one that's planted and it's grown and it's established mm-hmm. um, in front of Best Western Pecos Inn, there's one that oh. I'm kidding you not. It's the color of these pants. Okay. It's that's our hibiscus. The, the, the flower is. Okay. Wow. Yeah. It is so cool when it's in bloom. Beautiful. We, uh, we were driving around the other day, and the, the century plant by the Hampton mm-hmm. had bloomed into color uh-huh. and I don't know if um, Jeffrey has that picture probably doesn't have that one loaded up because we didn't talk about doing that so I'll show you the one that's on my phone and uh, this is the century plant oh those wow. are cool and then uh, there's a close-up wow that's so fun yeah and so then that looks like it's underwater almost because yeah. the blue like behind it it does yeah it does there's a sunflower Oh, wow. Oh, yard, yard of the, of the week. week. That yeah. almost looks fake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so. I wonder if that could be entered in the fair. Yeah. I was told, no, you can't take a picture of the sunflowers at the Ocotillo and enter that. Oh, in- oh. that could go in the photography contest, though, I'm sure. Correct, correct. Cool. But the actual sunflower that you're going to enter in the contest has to be a grown. Organic. Organic. And you have to be the one to, the, the person that enters it has to be the one that grew it, so. But that sounds oh. like fun. Sounds like there's, uh, I hope they have a lot of big entries for all that. Mm-hmm. So wouldn't that be ironic if the baseball coach had the biggest sunflower mm-hmm. entry? Yes. <laughs> and then you go to a but, ballpark and it's no seeds. Yeah, I was going to say, not here. <laughs> I was going to say, but people eat the inside part. That's the, f- anyway, yeah. I'm getting too Yeah, literal. I mean, just spit it in a cup. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of on the ground. Yeah. 
That's what people should do. You would think there would be more sunflowers surrounding baseball fields because, you know, the wind will pick up and take all, but that's probably why, because people eat the inside. Yep. So looking at your uh, chamber chat yes. today, 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 <gasps> yes. Mr. Paul Guessing is going to be your guest. We are excited. So we have teamed up with uh, the Artesia um, Rotary Club. Mm -hmm. And um, to bring in Paul Guessing today from the Rio Grande Foundation in, Albu is it Albuquerque or Santa mm -hmm. Fe? I think it's um, Albuquerque. And uh, I'm excited to hear from him. I've never met him. I've never heard from him. So I'm really excited to hear about it. It's We're doing it at the Country Club. It's just $10, um, and that'll feed you for lunch, which is actually really reasonably priced for lunch. Um, I Nowadays know it is, yes. I know. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, he's got a presentation, and the Rotary Club will have raffle tickets on hand. Uh, they've got a gun raffle going on right now, I feel like. Th that's their annual thing. And mm -hmm. then um, they'll also have membership information. So if you ever had in, um, questions about Rotary Club or anything like that, they'll be there to answer questions. And Well, Paul will be a good uh, presenter because uh, he kind of follows government and politics, and mm -hmm. we just had the primary Yep. last week. How many times do you vote? Once. Once? Okay. On Tuesday. On Tuesday. I walked in and said, I'm back. And did they laugh at you? <laughs> they were puzzled by my yeah. statement, and I had to explain myself, so yeah. it, they didn't laugh. Oh. They were Well, you know, sometimes serious. when you have to explain a joke, it's not as funny. Exactly. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> like, so he should have an interesting um, look at the numbers and what, what maybe to look forward to with the general election coming up in the fall so that'll mm -hmm. be a good uh, good topic for him and then just regulatory environment in new mexico and all the other wonderful things that we're doing to save the earth and yes you know all that other kind of good stuff so yeah today uh ten dollars huh doors yep. open at eleven forty-five. okay mm -hmm. well good good yep it'll the program will begin around twelve fifteen. so we'll have lunch and Come learn, hence the name, <laughs> Lunch and Learn. Lunch and Learn. That's yeah, today. That's today. today. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where do you want to go to next? Well, how much time do we have before break? We've got about three minutes before I need to take the break, so we can get started with something. Or well, we let, let, there's another thing happening tonight that I'm really excited oh, yeah. about. Um, so at the Ocotillo Performing Arts Center, they've got their... Well, they have a whole week of gala fundraiser things. Mm -hmm. But tonight, I'm excited. So this Gunhild Carling that's coming to perform. That's a name. I had no idea that was a name. Isn't that a cool name? It's a Gunhild. Cool name. Well, I, I have, obviously. She can play three trumpets at once, Jean. Play them well. Yes. Is what I'm Did I you told. watch that video? It's incredible. No, I have not watched the video. They posted a video on their Facebook page, the Arts Council Facebook page, and... It's showing her playing three trumpets at one time. That's but awesome. I don't know if she'll do it tonight or not, but I she's hope. coming to perform. And she, it's so fun. They're doing their 1920s gala. Mm -hmm. um, so dress up in your best dress if you want. You don't have to. Um, it's a speakeasy type thing. So uh, do you, you have, the have password? a pass. No. You don't not have a yet. password? No, okay. I. Um, I haven't 100% talked to my husband into taking me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. I tried last night, and he was on the phone with his brother for like three hours. And I'm like, dang it. Keep talking. Keep There's talking. still hope. There's still hope. I know. She's going to so. ask me to go to that thing, and I don't want to go. So I know. Just keep talking. We're no, talk about he's next. coming. <laughs> anyway, uh, but no, it's 21 and over, just okay. so people know. Well, they um, have a, they're going to have a cash bar. Yes, they'll mm -hmm. have a bar. Um, and well, it's a speakeasy. Have you ever... Uh, you're not old enough. <laughs> oh, we haven't heard that one yet on here. Congrats. To what? <laughs> you know something he doesn't know? <laughs> that came to out totally wrong now. I'm getting red. Um, <laughs> I can't wait to I hear this. I haven't been carded in a while, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> no, um, like, I want to hear stories of... Le oh, no. Legit speakeasies. Yeah, Gene was not around in the I 1920s. would have no <laughs> personal <laughs> uh, recollection. I, no, my and I, in fact, it was so sad. Like, uh, my husband's all, what's a speakeasy? I'm like, oh, no. You know, it's funny. There was a, uh, I saw this movie when I was a kid, and then it came up on the, you could buy it for five bucks. It was in the bargain bin. And it was uh, a movie called Bugsy Malone. You ever remember that movie? It's uh, it's uh, all the actors are kids, 
but they drive around in 20s cars, roaring 20 cars, and instead of machine guns with bullets, it's whipped cream. So when they hit somebody, they blast them with whipped cream wow. and stuff oh like that. Oh, my gosh. That's, that's funny. funny. And so that's really my only uh, knowledge <laughs> of the 1920s. That's so funny. <laughs> is, uh, is the movie Bugsy Malone. And uh, I don't know why Lana thinks I was uh, stupid for uh, wanting to get it. It's from 1976. Julie Foster, Scott Bayo hmm. uh, are in it. And it was, uh, like I said, it's all kids playing the roles of these uh, of these cute. gangsters but that's cute um, that's cute then there's want... then there's of course the untouchables if anybody's seen the untouchables movies movie I'm not or the TV series um, what else was there the sting you ever see the movie the sting mm -hmm. with Robert Redford and uh, Paul Newman and uh, no uh, but Bonnie and Scott Clyde jo a lot of Scott Joplin music no, Bonnie, Bonnie and Clyde Bonnie. that was uh, was that Warren Beatty and um, I feel like there's a newer one even oh I'm know. sure there's no new ideas anymore I mean, look at the movies that are out today. They're all, you know, old deals. But anyway, um, and Candace said they've got some clothing and <gasps> accessories. Oh, oh, fun. So if you don't have That's awesome. a total 20s outfit and they, you need an accessory or something fun. like that. I wanted, I was really Pinteresting last night on how they did that cute hair thing with all the girls. And mm -hmm. they have real long hair, but then it turns out to just be real short and curly. And it's like this braid thing you have to do and pin it all up. And golly, they spent hours on their hair. Yep. So cool. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if I'll be able to do that. But, but. but no, I personally was not alive during Prohibition. Yes, I so know. I would not That's know why I'm like, you're not old enough. <laughs> Probably not very many people are that old. Right? Um, that's true. Because yeah. it's already 2022. That's right. That's right. Man. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. So that's uh, that's tonight, right? That's and then tonight. Daniel Carling will be performing while all this is going Doors on. open at 5. So. Oh, good. yeah. You know, they have a paint party tomorrow and bingo on Thursday, trivia on Friday, and then the murder mystery brunch is on Saturday. And that sounds kind of interesting. Are you uh, going? No, not. I think my engineers are going to be in town. That's why I haven't. Take them. No. If I get my engineers in town, they're going to have their butt sitting in front of that transmitter that I've got all these parts waiting for them oh, to install that okay. I've been waiting on for a month. But uh, They would love you more. Bottomless mimosas seems like an interesting incentive to attend. Yes. So. Um, and if I feel, I don't know if it's uh, the cutoff has happened yet, but if you want to be like an actor in this murder mystery, you have to get with them ASAP because mm -hmm. I don't know. It might be full. I'm well, not quite sure. Fun. But if you want to be part of the, like, you want to be a character in this murder mystery, Ooh. get with the OKT or the Arts Council. Um, then you dress up in character. Yes. And you walk around to the yes. people having the brunch and mimosas. Yes. And they ask you questions as yes. the, fun. As the uh, crowd there tries to determine who the murderer is. I was part of one once and it was a murder on a cruise ship. Mm-hmm. I mean, we weren't really on a cruise ship. We were in someone's home. Bummer. But it was really cool. And everyone had to dress up. And there was like a beauty contest. So there's all these beauty contestants and a judge and the speaker person. And, you know, what were in you? the audience, Who I was you? a beauty contestant. Oh. Um, and somebody, and then the lights kicked off. Everybody was screaming and there was gunshots and someone died. <laughs> was so it you? Then, no, oh. I did not die. Okay. So then you have to pull out your second card mm -hmm. to see if you did it because you don't even know going done in it. yeah i did it you did it i you did it oh, yes fun. i read the cardinals all oh, started yeah. sweating because <laughs> i am not a good liar so then you went around and people asked you questions yes you gotta ask and everyone's like doing their detective work trying to figure out did who anybody just was. flat out say are you the murderer no i actually got away with it uh, you got good away with job. it mm. but in real life there's no way but also, it was very hard. In yeah. real life, there's no way you could kill someone? No way you could kill no, someone. No, 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 that's not <laughs> Or get away with it. No way you could get away with it. Oh. Either. Yeah. I so. couldn't do either. All right, we're going to take a break. Let's do. And we'll come back. There's more on Chamber Chat. Fourth of July is coming up. Yes. And a whole lot more. So stick around if you can here on KSVP. Now for your Pickles Fountain.